What is up, sports bettors? How we doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? What we are going to be doing in this video is locking in some sharp NFL player props for Thursday night football tonight. So there is one bet that I've already locked in that is still available that I figured we should we should hammer together. There's two that I haven't locked in yet that I'm going to lock in that I think are great. All three bets are positive expected value. All three bets are found using Odds Jam, using the positive expected value software. The reason why I'm able to find so many sharp betting opportunities is just because that I'm signed up for every book available in my state. I am a lucky one available in Colorado, which is the sports betting mecca in terms of sports books available to bet on. Wherever, whatever state that you are in, you should check the landscape, the betting landscape for that state and see if there are any sports books that you are not signed up with. If that is the case, then I would recommend signing up for those sports books. Again, my name is Matt Modi, aka Jedi Modi. I'm a content producer for Ajdam. One thing I would appreciate outside of signing up for all of those sports books, the links you see either on the Ajdam website or in the description of the video. If you check out uh, the Odds Jam podcast, we literally just came out with a new episode uh, that dropped this morning, Sweat the Bet, presented by Odds Jam, hosted by me and my other co-host, Andrew Kim, a.k.a. The Parlay Doc. Each week, we, pre we, pre we preview the week's NFL best games. That, uh, last night, I believe we previewed five, and then we give out our three best bets in the morning as well. Those best bets, I'm doing pretty well, seven, three, and two overall on those Sweat the Bets as the kids call them. So I'd appreciate you subscribing. Again, available anywhere you get your podcast, Sweat the Bet, presented by Odds Jam. In this video, let's talk about some player props. So this is one that I did lock in, as you can see, but it's still available. I still really, really like it. So I'm actually hitting this one again. Corlin Sutton over four and a half receptions. The odds aren't ideal at minus 140, but it's a really, really good bet. So I think it's worth taking. I am going to put a full unit on this one so whatever one unit is for you at home is what i would recommend putting on this one this one has been locked in as you can see over four and a half receptions so let's chat about it number one of course it's positive expected value that's the most important part of everything the no big line which is what you see right here prices this at minus 147. the no big line uh, the way it works is ajdam has uh, just tracked and uh, taken in a bunch of data, thousands and thousands of data points, basically with the end goal to determine, okay, what sports books are the best at pricing odds? Pretty simple. Which sports books do the best job? They took all this information, collected all this data, back tested it to confirm different markets. Some sports books are better at other markets, which you might find interesting. But once they made this determination, once this information was collected, they uh, pulled all those sports books together and created a weighted average to remove the VIG. The VIG, of course, being the juice that sports books price odds, how they make their money. They remove the VIG. Excuse me, they charge a VIG. That's how they make their money. So removing it is important in terms of understanding uh, where the true line is, according to all of these sharp sports books, which price this at minus 147. So the bet we locked in on Betfred at minus 140. I put a unit on it. All in all, equates to a profit margin of about 2%. So on this one individual bet since i put a hundred dollars on it i made a dollar doesn't sound like a lot keep in mind it's just one bet it's just tonight so i'll have theoretically have this profit realized tonight i'm assuming you're placing a lot more bets than just one so this one dollar maybe you have a bigger bankroll maybe we're locking in higher ev percent bets turns into thirty dollars whatever on a given night but one thing that i like doing there's two there's a couple things actually i shouldn't say one number one this is the first thing that I like to do, but not the only one, is look at the holistic betting market. Look at where every sports book is pricing this play. So minus 140 on Betfred. Caesars, minus 156. C or excuse me, FanDuel, minus 156. Caesars, minus 179. DraftKings, minus 165. And then Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, at minus 193. This outlier, this minus 140, is a pretty big outlier. We can see the average odds are about minus 169. That's very nice. Another thing that I like to do is if you open this up in a new tab, view the event page, it pulls up where every sports book is pricing this prop at. So what we can see is that there are some sports books that actually price his receiving uh, his receptions over four and a half. Prize picks, underdog, have it at five. 
And then it looks like what's this points bet, Tipico, Bet Rivers, Bet Online. Bet Online, another really sharp sports book, actually price it at five and a half. That's a huge difference with numbers this low. Over four and a half versus over five and a half. I mean, what's there's probably a 20% chance that he lands at exactly five. These bets would have pushed, these bets would have lost. The four and a half you locked in would have won. Another thing that I like to do with player props is look at the Odds Jam Props app. Um, this is something that you can download on any iOS store, uh, iPhone, iPad, desktop, whatever. Uh, it just pulls up historical data for players. So you just type in Sutton. So we want to look at the most recent games, right? Since he's been playing with Russell Wilson. Week one, which you remember was kind of a weird week. They fumbled twice at the one. was also Russell Wilson's return to Seattle. Four receptions. The only game in which he didn't go over this four and a half number. The other three games he's played, he's gone over. He had his first touchdown last week against uh, the Raiders. So Cortland Sutton is uh, Russell Wilson's favorite target. He's been the uh, most consistent receiver for the Broncos. The Colts are also one of the worst teams in the NFL in terms of guarding opposing number one receivers. They're literally, not one up, they're literally the worst team, according to DVOA, at guarding teams' number one receivers. That's Cortland Sutton. I like Cortland Sutton a lot. In this game, the fact that I could get a positive EV play on his receptions is very, very good. I think this is an awesome play. I put a unit on it. I don't love the minus 140 odds, but I think it's a really good play. So for you at home, whatever you are unit sizing, put one on this one. Now I'm just adding this to my bet tracker. Very, very important to track your bets. All this information you see on my dashboard comes from tracking my bets. So you can see that I'm up about 14K using Ajdam. This is about almost exactly a year. 4% ROI, pretty much up and down for the past couple weeks, but starting off hot this week. Last week was great. This week starting off great. So you will see how things go, but it's all from tracking your bets. So this is play number one, right? Um, Cortland Sutton over four and a half receptions. The next play, this is one that I already locked in as well that I am uh, not locking in again, but I do think it's worth taking Russell Wilson over one and a half passing touchdowns, plus 120 on Betfred, plus 120 on PlayUp if you have those books. I think it's worth taking. Bet Online plus 100, Pinnacle plus 111, DraftKings plus 105. Getting a pretty good price at this at plus 120. This is now the third time that I've mentioned this play in a video. The odds just keep being good, keep not changing, so I keep mentioning it, but I won't belabor the point because this, this is literally the third time I've mentioned this. The next play that I really like that I wanted to talk about is this Michael Pittman longest reception over 22 and a half. So this is minus 103 on Caesars. So I'm going to put a half a unit on this one, which is 50 bucks for me. Michael Pittman over long, longest reception, I should say over 22 and a half. Let me just add this one to my bet tracker as well before I forget. But I think this is a really, really good play. So I mentioned Caesars has it at minus 103. No big line has it at minus 103.12. Not a monster uh, gap between those two numbers. I still think it's a really good play. And here's why. Look at where the other books price this play at. Betfred has the over at minus 120, the under at minus 110. Favoring the over, telling you that the over is the more likely scenario. Fandle has it about 50-50, so no help there. But then DraftKings and Pinnacle, same thing. Minus 120 versus the over on DraftKings, the under at minus 110. Pinnacle, over at minus 121, under at minus 110. All of these books are telling you that the most likely scenario is that Michael Pittman goes over this receiving uh, longest reception prop, except for Caesars, which heavily, heavily favors the under. So if you're just thinking about this logically, you don't know anything about sports. You're just thinking about this from a math, from a logical perspective. The most likely scenario here is that three of the four books have this priced correctly in terms of favoring the over. Fandle has it at about 50-50, not much to glean from there. And then Caesars is the clear outlier here, pricing this at minus 103, the under at minus 133. So I think this is an awesome play. This is the second player prop that I'm locking in officially on this video. Three total that I think is worth locking in. Number one, Cortland Sutton over four and a half receptions. That is a one unit play. That is my favorite player prop for tonight. Uh, Russell Wilson over one and a half passing touchdowns. This is a half unit play that I have already locked in. Talked about it three times now. And then the last one that I just locked in that you saw, Michael Pittman over, longest reception, I should say, over 
22 and a half yards, minus 103 on Caesars. So if you are tailing these bets, let me know. I would love to hear it. The last primetime game I did this, I had three bets. They all hit. That was very nice. Hoping to keep this keep the streak going. Of course, make sure to subscribe to the iShave YouTube channel to get all of our sharp plays. Subscribe to the Sweat the Bet podcast. Listen to our analysis. It's a little more analysis focused with some betting advice betting advice there as well but that is going to be it so i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to comment like subscribe all that good stuff and that's it so have a good one